breaking news overnight. An officer shot and killed in the line of duty near Cincinnati, Ohio. It's been a violent start for, to 2019 for the men and women in uniform. This is the fifth officer gunned down this year alone. It was just two weeks ago when Officer Sean Tudor was tragically killed in West Mobile. During nearly a 12 hour standoff with police, investigators say a suicidal suspect fired rounds from his apartment near Cincinnati, Ohio. When there was actually gunfire, um, we were ducking behind vehicles. Two officers were shot, one fatally. Detective Bill Brewer was a 20 year veteran of the force and leaves behind a wife and a five year old son. Um, and when they put him on the gurney to take him, they were they had ripped his vest off and were applying pressure and, and saying, please stay with us, please stay with us. So in my mind, I uh, thought, how many more is this going to happen to? Brewer is the fifth officer to be shot and killed this year, according to the Officer Down Memorial page. Two of those officers killed were on duty in Alabama. Birmingham officer Sergeant Waitasha Carter was gunned down January 13th as he was trying to arrest car burglars. Seven days later, Mobile Police Officer Sean Tudor shot and killed while tracking down fugitive Marco Perez. The indiscriminate slaying of police officers, sometimes for no other reason than they wear a badge. Officers now keenly aware of the targeted violence they face while on patrol protecting us. The tragic and seemingly uptick in threats they face, Public Safety Director James Barber spoke about at Officer Sean Tudor's funeral. And we will continue to fight, my brothers and sisters. We will continue to fight because we must for the hope that one day, just one day, we will never have to gather like this again.